This video is going to demonstrate how to set up and take absorbance measurements, showing you the simple way to use OceanView software and an example setup of ocean optics equipment. For this demonstration, we will look at the absorbance of a holmium oxide Starna Scientific absorbance standard. This absorbs in the UV and visible ranges in sharp, recognisable peaks. The equipment used is as follows. The flame spectrometer configured for UV vis. Two 600 micron UV vis patch cords with SMA connectors. A CUV cuvette sample holder with two 74 UV lenses positioned opposite to each other. The DH mini light source which contains a halogen lamp emitting in the visible range and a deuterium lamp which emits in the UV. This broadband light source will maximise the information we can get from our sample by covering the regions where the sample absorbs most. To set up the instrumentation for absorbance measurements, we will simply connect one end of a patch cord to our light source and the other end to the sample holder. We will then attach the other patch cord to the sample holder in line with the first and the other end to our spectrometer. You will see that a cuvette can then be inserted in line with the optical fibres to intercept the light coming from the source. This is where the absorbance happens. The CUV cuvette holder also comes with a cuvette cover that can be placed over the sample like so to prevent external light getting into the system. Finally, make sure that your spectrometer is plugged into your computer with the micro USB cable and switch on your light source. The DH Mini features a shutter. Make sure this is open before taking measurements. Now you have set up your experiment, open up the OceanView software. You will be greeted with the raw spectrum of light being received by your spectrometer. An absorbance measurement can be done in OceanView by using the Create New Spectroscopy Application Wizard, which can be found in the top left corner. Select this and then choose Absorbance from the menu. You will be presented with the following choice. The bottom two refer to making a calibration curve for the absorbance at different concentrations of your sample. For this video, we will be looking at taking a simple absorbance measurement using just one sample. So, we will select the absorbance only option. Next, you will be asked to set the parameters for your measurement. You will need to choose your integration time. To pick a suitable integration time, put your sample in the cuvette holder and switch on your light source. You will want the highest point on your spectrum to reach up to about 85% of the maximum signal that your spectrometer can receive without saturating. This is indicated by the blue line shown here. Some averaging is often useful and you can also decide if you would like to apply boxcar averaging, electric dark, and non-linearity correction. You can always alter these parameters later, but make sure you take a new darkened reference if you do. Continuing with the wizard, you will be asked to take a reference. To do this, you must use your reference sample. Water is often a good choice. Place the water sample in the cuvette holder. Ensure that your light source is on with the shutter open. Then click the yellow bulb to take a reference. Next you'll be asked to take a dark. This requires you to stop any light from getting to the spectrometer. The easiest way to do this is by using the shutter on your light source. Click the grey bulb in order to take your dark. Now press finish to close the wizard. With your light source on, your referenced absorbance measurement can now be seen in the absorbance view tab in Ocean View. Place your sample back in the cuvette holder to take a look at its absorbance spectrum. You can capture the current spectrum using the camera icon at the top of the screen. The schematic window shows the functions that are being performed by Ocean View in order to get your absorbance measurement. If you want to change any of the acquisition parameters, make sure you take a new darken reference using the bulb icons at the top of the screen. To choose options for saving, go to the configure graph saving icon at the top of the screen. Here you can choose the file format you'd like to save in, select the location that you'd like your spectra to be saved to, give the files a base name, and choose from various other saving options including how often you want to save a scan and how long you want saving to go on for. Click apply and exit once you've chosen these. Use the save graph to files icon at the top of the screen in order to save the current spectra. You can see that it's saving when the icon turns from black to red, as well as the words file saving in progress appearing at the bottom of the screen. If you'd like to stop it saving partway through, simply click the save icon a second time and it will go from red to black, indicating that saving is no longer in progress. So that's how you can do an absorbance measurement. 
just one of the many types of measurements that can be done using ocean optics equipment and software. The diversity of applications is limitless. To find out what else you can do using an ocean optics spectrometer, visit www.oceanoptics.com.